It was a military-style showing at the convention center Shaguramas, Trinidad and Tobago, as CARICOM celebrated its 50th anniversary with a flag-raising ceremony. Heads of government of the region gathered on a rainy Tuesday morning to observe the 50th anniversary of CARICOM. Shaguramas holds a special place in our hearts because of its role in the creation of the Caribbean community. Had we been present 50 years ago on these very grounds, we would have been privy to events that changed the course of our region's history. Undoubtedly, the air was filled then as it is now with expectation, joy and hope for the future. Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, called on the region's heads to pursue their collective goals for shared prosperity. A common theme throughout these messages was the notion of the Caribbean as representing more than Anglophone Caribbean. Dr. Williams, Burnham and Manley mentioned that. Now, CARICOM includes Suriname and Haiti. Today, we look forward towards greeting Martinique and the Dutch Antilles. The community should be outward looking. This started on the fourth day of July, 1973, and continues to this day. But I think we should make an observation here. Dr. Williams, was no mean historian. And it is not by accident that the CARICOM seed was sown on, Janu on July the 4th in this old American na naval base on the Independence Day of the United States. Each head of government of CARICOM signed the Treaty of Shangaramas. St. Lucia. A symbolic tree planting activity on a rainy Tuesday morning would close the curtains on a very notable day in the history of Caribbean integration.